just a single touch of the mysterious wonder flower. Uh, Prince Florian's castle. Okay. Wow, that immediately shut down anything about the Tatanga hypnotization thing. Nab, it is there! I made a joke about that! I was kidding! Oh, wait, neat, neat level design. Amidst the picturesque scenery oh? and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands. Dive into the sea. Okay, well. Through caves at the heart of the oh, okay, that's interesting. I was like, oh, are we just gonna get an island level? Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the course's menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Oh, sick! I actually like that a lot. Besides Holy shit, that is a roster. But now we know there's like no new characters. Toadette is kind of new. But it would be cool to have like Wario land Wario that you could play as. Yo, she has a weird design in this one. New type of womp. New type of womp. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that that is I think that's my favorite Mario enemy. I like that one a lot. Oh, I like those a lot too. Oh, they do like a little butt bump when they pass each other? New pa Oh, Bubble Mario. That's a different light. That that that, that that lighting just adds more to the plasticky. They did it. They're all elephants. They're all elephants. The bubble form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. Oh, he blows the bubble? That's cute. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. It's kind of disappointing that they aren't all individual animals, but at least we get more than those, because if we just had, like, one big gimmick power-up, I wouldn't be as interested. Yo! Yo, platforming a mushroom, basically. Power-up switching? No, just, just, okay, it's like a Mario world. Or like an old, for, like the first new Super Mario Brothers, except you don't have to tap on a screen. <laughs> Wonder, an entire section for it. Get happy. What? Okay, that is, that is probably the most bizarre part. The top-down element you're giving me too much information to process p balloon mario is back goomba mario that looks better than the odyssey one no way no way it's got like dark souls ring hollow knight Oh my god, it literally is. How did they manage to add Metroidvania elements to a platformer? Like a level-based platformer. But, yo, that's sick! Look! They've got a grappling hook and a platformer. I'm just trying to think, like, who at Nintendo was sitting there and, like, every single one of them sitting there was like, yep, all of them. Elephants, yep, mm hmm Yeah, totally. Badge challenge courses, that's cool. So does that mean there will be more than just the worlds? Will there be Kaizo? <laughs> oh, neat! Can you stack Yoshis? 
Wait, this is actually so cool. You can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings. Oh, that's awesome! It's a little like Mario MMO. To add more to your collection, you never know which standee you'll get. Huh. When you come into contact with an online player, when you walk by a person like a boyling. Oh, that's awesome! It, that there we go. We have a little element. It's like a uh, on Smash, on Smashville. When you pop the balloon, it's a little extra element to it. If there's like the local system multiplayer, like the multiple systems, then I'll be able to play this on Yuzu with friends, and that'll be fucking awesome. They're really holding off on showing more than just the Bowser Jr. boss, aren't they? I understand the inclusion of the Yoshis and Nabbit as a way to make the game easier, but I would have appreciated if there were different characters that had different play styles because that would actually be fun and it would give more playability to the characters as opposed to them just being just uh like characters that you pick because you need a character like Mario Party or whatever and it makes sense but it's like if if there was a little extra it's like oh I want to play Wario and he plays like Wario Land. That would be fun. I really like the Bubble Mario. I, the, the Bubble Mario is such a good idea. It gives me hope that they're going to go into more like super in-depth platforming. And especially with like the uh, badge. Because like that, that's the, the Spider-Man. The, the, the grappling hook was so cool. And I want to see more of that. Yeah, the grappling vine. Like, look at that. That is just the way you would want it to work. And it's... that it... Amazing. Yeah, what I wanted to know more about the sensor was whether or not it works on, like, actual collectibles. Whether or not those are a thing. I guess... I, I don't know whether or not the Wonder Seeds present themselves to you as easily as it makes it seem. As if they're just the level gimmick. I'm unfortunately thinking about the very fun looking Mario game from a technical, uh, like, gameplay aspect. Uh, because they showed me that bubble mushroom and I'm like, will the game be fun enough to the point where I want to, uh, use all of these little cool trinkets in the cool ways that they're showing me, or will those be like one and done things where I'll only be like, oh, this makes the game way too easy if I'm using this one, or it makes it feel like, I don't know. Yeah, and the, the Kaizo comment that I made wasn't unwarranted because I, I feel like all of those like maneuverability options Com combining together could make really cool level design. My hope is that we get a Super Mario Wonder Maker. Super Mario Maker Wonder, maybe. Because this is Super Mario Brothers Wonder, so maybe they are making a Super Mario Maker Wonder. Maybe Wonder is going to be a tagline, like a subtitle, for other things. And that would be cool. I would like a Wonder of other things. I'm probably going completely out of uh, my mind th acting like this uh, tagline is going to be a whole series of things uh, for other things because the new in New Super Mario Brothers wasn't used for anything other than Mario. I don't know, did, did people speculate like that back then whenever that game came out? Were they like, oh, is there going to be a new Zelda or a new... Kirby or a new Metroid. Uh, that's that. That's as much thinking as I'm going to do right now. I need to get my ass up and be productive. See ya.